Thanks, Noah. You know, it seems like just yesterday the Hawkeye football season ended, but now we have spring practice all of a sudden. I know. I can't believe we're finally here. And it looks like the Hawkeyes have a lot to look forward to next season. Definitely should be a good season. Mm -hmm. As we near the middle of spring practice, our very own Mary-Kate Heron caught up with tight ends coach LeVar Woods and offensive line coach Tim Pilesack. As the Hawkeyes move in to week three of spring practice, Coach LeVar Woods touched on with the loss of George Kittle that the tight end position is wide open. It's incredibly competitive right now. Uh, with you know, all the competition, everyone's getting reps, everyone's uh, working to compete. We're also working on our new system, as you guys know, uh, with the new offense. And uh, it's a little bit more multiple tight ends are asked to be in different spots, different positions, a little bit more than we have in the past, which is, I think, to our benefit. We have some talented guys in the room, some guys that can do some really good things, and uh, we're trying to get everyone on the field. Now the offensive line is facing some new challenges with Tim Polsek starting his first season as the offensive line coach. The culture that's within that group that I think has been established a long time ago and, and you know, who we are, you know, from a, not necessarily it's got to be a run first offense, but we are going to run the football. You know, they go about their business pretty good. You know, the emphasis being right now in the spring of just trying to develop as much depth and competition as we can, you know, to try to solidify, you know, who's number seven, who's number six, who's number eight has kind of been the main focus. Um, not that we're ignoring the top guys because everybody can improve. And, and within that, that's kind of been the central theme. Just go out there, compete and improve. And then we've got to have some young guys step up and, and establish themselves in a position where they can get into a competitive um, situation with one or two guys. The Hawkeyes will head to Des Moines this Friday for their open practice and end spring football with the spring game on Friday, April 21st. Reporting from the Iowa football facility, this has been Mary-Kate Harrion for Daily Iowan TV Sports. Stay tuned for tomorrow's show for more Iowa football as we have two more NFL prospect interviews with Desmond King and C.J. Beathard. Another Hawkeye team that is doing well is the women's tennis team. They are 13-5 on this season and they look to continue their strong season under the guidance of junior Anastasia Reimchin. Nasty Reimchin has been a consistent option, number three singles for the Hawkeyes, and they'll look to her as they head into their final five games of the 2016-2017 campaign. As a junior, Reimchin realized that this season she would need to take on the roles of both player and leader. Uh, being a junior, you have responsibilities, taking care of your teammates, especially the freshmen, the sophomores, giving them a good example, you know, uh, in practice, on court, off court, supporting them. Um, it's really important to be a good role model. Rhyme Chen realized being a leader means giving her teammates an emotional boost. Being more of a leader and um, motivating all my teammates to believe in themselves more and um, just always uh, being a good energy on court and like definitely show that you're there for them, that you believe in them, show 100% that you um, know that they can do it. Rhymeshen and her teammates want to finish the season on a high note as the end of Big Ten play nears. Finish it off on a great note, give it my all, fight, uh, not give up until the last point, and really, you know, finish the season off on a good note. The Hawkeyes are looking to finish the season off strong as they have home matches this weekend against Ohio State and Penn State. Reporting from the HTRC, this is Will Silverstein, Daily Iowan TV Sports. Reimchen and the rest of the team only have five matches remaining in Big Ten play, and with two of those this weekend as they take on Ohio State and Penn State. With North Carolina winning Monday's national championship game, it is officially the offseason for college basketball. Let's take a look at the Iowa basketball team's top three plays of the season. Switcheroo between Jock and Bohannon who throws a pass to Isaiah Moss for the and one. Icing on the cake layup to beat Iowa State. The number two play down to Indiana when Nicholas Barrett throws down an absolute monster of a putback dunk to fire up the Iowa bench. And at number one down late at Wisconsin, Jock misses but Pemsel kicks it out to Bohannon who sets up his shot and nails the game winning three pointer. A dagger from the freshman point guard. Make sure you tune in tomorrow as we take a look at two more Hawkeye draft hopefuls. And take a look at a standout on the track and field team. Back to you at the desk.